for example, with your role, there was a push to consider, I understand, A-list actors and you know certain people. And thankfully, you were able to get your audition in front of Darius and, and get the part. How do we how do we shift that narrative as well and that and that trend to actually provide more opportunity for people who are actually underrepresented or are um, often forgotten about to just get in, you know get their work seen and get included? Well. That's a hard one uh, because, you know, as, as long as I've been here writing my own screenplay and things like that, you know, you'll always get into a discussion with people who are interested in your property and then they'll say, well, we got to get a name. We got to right. get a name. That's the name of the game here. I don't know if you're going to change that. We got to get an, I, I just heard it yesterday. Hmm. Got to get a name. <laughs> this guy's trying to do it. So, okay, well, that, that happens to be a reality. I, I understand that. But what people who are un, underrepresented um, like, for example, the agent that I work with, uh, she has some deaf actors and there's nobody writes deaf roles. Nobody's thinking about that. There might be one or two that come along every once in a while. You need somebody that's going to be out there and, and be willing to suggest to a casting director, hey, uh, I saw the breakdown for this particular role. Have you ever thought about casting X, Y or Z? either a, a wheelchair person or a deaf person or somebody that might fit that role. And so you've got to have agents that are willing to go that extra little mile there and suggest, hey, have you ever thought about this? And you know, that actually works. People ask you, hey, wait a minute, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. You actually have to put these people, these casting directors, put them in a place where they're, they got to start putting their money where their mouth is because everybody says they want to do it. Right. But uh, maybe next time, not this time. Yeah. I, listen, I can't tell you how many times I've auditioned for something and I hear, oh, they're going another way. They're going mm -hmm. another way. In other words, where are they going to go with a name? Yeah. Okay. I yeah. mean, that's, that's the game. Don't get you know, your feelings hurt about it. Just move on and keep trying to create more uh, opportunities for yourself. Right. Yeah, don't 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 let it destroy you, right? I mean, I mean, I could, obviously you, hear, you must have heard that. I mean, forty years, you must have heard that right. many many times. Many times I've gotten discouraged, didn't want to go on an audition because I thought it was beneath me or whatever. I mean, that happens. But uh, as down as as you get, <clears throat> you have to keep on going. You, yeah. you know, this is not acting is not for the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for the faint of heart or the weak, you got to be strong. You got to you got to develop a tough skin, and that is something that underrepresented uh, factions of our population are very good at. They're mm -hmm. very good at moving ahead. I think they are. I, my parents would just, you know, they would no matter what they'd keep on going. There's something about the human condition, the human spirit, that makes you keep on going. 